Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is John and Jenna with Flippin' Ain't Easy. Uh, happy Friday, everyone. Uh, we have a storm barreling in our way. I don't know if it's gonna be a tropical depression or whatever they call it, but we're gonna get hit with a lot of winds and stuff here in Vegas and a lot of rain. So actually kind of excited by that. It's kind of weird, you know, when you're living in an area where weather kind of excites you, you know, it's pretty sad. Uh, those of you who live like in the South or in Florida, East Coast, you guys get weather all year round and we don't get it very often. So we're not that lucky. No. So uh, like when we get snow once in a while, when it does happen, well, rain soon at 313. So 12 minutes. I won't run outside, I promise. So, but I want to know how you guys have been doing this week. Uh, I got to tell you with sales, they have been kind of weird. To be honest with you, I got to tell you, this weekend was pretty crappy. And then Monday, out I outdid Saturday and Sunday on Monday. You know, I had $516 in sales, which was more than Saturday, Sunday combined. And then it kind of went back to blah on Tuesday and it's been very good since. So, you know, I'm kind of just resigned to the fact that that's kind of how it's going to be for me until I can beef up my store, which... I'm not trying to build a big store, but um, I want to make sure that I'm not running out of inventory because the sales are outpacing what I'm listing right now. So I, I need to be mindful of that and I just need to get more stuff up faster and uh, not take so much kind of lollygag it, you know, and um, that's kind of what I've been guilty of. Lollygagger, yeah. So um, the topic of the day is simply in 2023, how do we make reselling work? And I made sure to put 2023 because unfortunately we can think back to the good old days and just, I don't know if they're good old days, but in reselling things took off in 2020 when everyone was getting that free money, getting that free cash and people were spending it like it was, you know, no big deal. And at the time uh, I was dealing with liquidation and my pallets were kind of getting kind of funky. They were some good, some bad. And I got to tell you, that really helped bridge the gap, I think, having all that other people with extra money. And it was a great time. And you didn't have to have the best stuff to really make it work. And I, I guess that's kind of what it, you know, the difference is when people have a lot of uh, disposable income, it's a lot easier to sell some stuff than when they don't. And, uh, you know, hearing about how uh, people right now in 2023 are using more credit cards than ever before. Uh, going higher and higher into debt and, uh, you know, makes you wonder, sort of like eBay's promoted listing fees, when does it all end before it just kind of plateaus or just falls off the cliff? So when you're dealing with this type of thing, you got to make adjustments. What are you doing differently uh, than you were doing back in 2020 when the sales were just so easy to come by? Um, for, for me, there's a number of things that I think people need to start doing now, now that in Vegas, I guess we're kind of getting back into yard selling season. A lot of you guys are there already uh, because the weather is tolerable. Um, how are you buying? I mean, how are you buying? Are you buying low? Are you just uh, to the point where, you know, someone tells you you want they want $20 for something at a yard sale? Are you going to give them their price? Or are you going to try to haggle with them? And if that's not your comfort zone, maybe you should start incorporating that tactic into um, or the, the bundle tactic, which I've talked about on this channel, um, incorporate that into what you do because you're going to find that that's where you win at this game. I can tell you all about listing. I can tell you all about photos. I can tell you all about account health and all the basic things. But if you're not winning when you're sourcing, you're losing. And that's just the bottom line. Um, so the other thing is once you get it sourced, you want to look for ways to get your items in front of more people. Now, eBay to me is still king, queen, whatever you want to say, uh, only because of the traffic. Okay. And I think that eBay is going to be on top for quite some time. Now we can talk about Amazon. I'm not talking about Amazon. They're in their own world. But as it pertains to like pre-owned goods, things of that nature, I think eBay is still on top, even though they're losing market share more and more. And that's on eBay. Uh, we can't control that. But what you can control with the market share, people are leaving the platform. You should still be selling on eBay. I see so many people 
putting in the comments that, you know what, I'm done with eBay, going to go to other sites, this, that, and the other thing. Why? Uh, as long as the traffic is still here, um, other sites are charging 20% anyway, Poshmark, Mercari. Um, so if you're being charged 13% final value fees, what's another five, seven? It's about the same as those other sites anyway. So what I would say to do is cross post. I don't really care what tool you use, but use a tool cross post and get your stuff in front of other people. Um, you know, think of that 9 million people that eBay's lost over the last year, 6 million, 9 million, whatever it is. They had to have gone somewhere. They're not done buying online. I think that it's the wise way to go. And of course, if you want to use Prime Lister, you can use the link down below, uh, two weeks free and uh, no credit card even needed. You get a hundred listings to try it out. And uh, like I said, no matter how or what tool that you use, uh, make sure that you're doing that. That's if your sales are slow. If your sales are great, I mean, for me, my sales are fine. And to me, I would be better served with that time getting more stuff up on eBay. And if you're in the same boat, if your sales are good, uh, why would you waste time cross-listing if what you're doing right now is working great? Get more of that up. Um, your sales are going to be uh, better for it. And that's kind of why I think I've had a choppy last week because my, my the number of items I have actively up for sale have dropped to about 190 now. And of, of course, um, the, the number in my mind is to have at least 200. So I'm in kind of a panic mode. So do what works. But again, this message is really meant the cross-listing message is those, for those who really are like, you know what, I wish I could get more sales. If that's you, then... Why are you allowing yourself to get the stuff in front of more people? Clothing Poshmark, everything Mercari, uh, collectibles and boutique type items on Etsy. There's, uh, I think there's Discogs for uh, your media. Um, what other ones are there? Am I missing? You can do Amazon too, you know, that type of thing. Discogs is for your, uh, I, well, I use it primarily for records. So when I'm looking up a code on a record or an album, to see more about it and see what, you know, oh. what type of genre that music is, but they do allow you to sell on those platforms as well. So, all right. So that wasn't that long of a diatribe, but um, I just wanted to, to kind of get the conversation started. Um, I think there's so many more things that you can add to that conversation and hopefully you guys can add to this conversation as well. But um, for the sake of not making this a long winded diatribe like I normally do. And it's probably too late. Um, we do this, minutes. we do this to get the discussion going, right? So it gives no, us a talking point, this. but that's just the way we roll. So, uh, look, got me a sale, got me a sale, sold a, uh, black and Decker, um, Another one. one of those blowers. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> leaf blower. Hey, did anybody check out let's do lunch podcast? Anybody? Anybody? Uh, I'm not hearing anyone, so I don't think so. I'm just joking. That is absolutely <laughs> effing rude. We try to get that way Do on I the show. Shut all over my eye right now. No, you don't. Well, because you just spilled a whole thing. Yeah, we were we were trying to get ready for the show, and I'm walking. We got like three minutes before the show, so I'm walking down the hall, and here comes <laughs> Jenna flying like a bat out of hell, and she's looking down, and so instinctively i'm trying to get to the side we're in this like <laughs> cramped hallway i'm trying to get to the side to let the bus come through and she crashes into me <laughs> and like she gets like water all over her and she's like oh my god the, the straw was in my mouth i'm like what the hell are you doing i was looking at the dog well how are you gonna walk forward when you're looking over here to the side i said you can't call that you can't blame that on me <laughs> so well in turn i had to change my shirt and now i've got Stuff all over my face. <laughs> was it the war paint or what? Yeah, uh, my mascara is well, coming off. It's all right. I got I literally had to go fill it back up because yeah. half of it went all over me. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm in a rush. I'm trying to do something here before the show. So <sighs> you know what we should do is think to ourselves the show starts a half an hour early that way we're not scrambling around. But it is what it is. So let's see who, who is here with us today. We have Lenny K, football shirt, soccer here, AM, is footy shirt as per Google. Um, yeah, this it's football, American football season here 
And while we're getting ready for the regular season, it's preseason. So um, I can tell you, you've heard it here first, Super Bowl champions, New York Jets. Oh, my God. No one designed changed his name. Shalami Sandwich. Oh, wow. Is that what that is? Okay, we'll get <laughs> to that here I in a minute. I know that's him? Because of his cute little puppy I want to boot. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. PDS says, watching Jenna on Let's Do Lunch. Oh, yay! Yay. Um, and I watched it, too. I just wanted to make sure she, you know, I was waiting for, like, okay, here. What, what, when is she going to dog me? When is she going to dog me? But she didn't. Yeah, he kept asking me, so what would you talk about? What would you talk about? What do you talk about? <laughs> and I said, you'll find out on Friday. Yeah. So uh, He's like, I just wanted, what, what kind of shit did you talk on me? And I'm like, none. <laughs> um, Let's see. So Picky Ricky is listing a, uh, a Ralph Lauren handbag for some serious cash. Paid a quid. Not a dollar? No. A quid? A quid? I think a quid is five. No? is it, Someone's going to have to to give me the translation here. Ricky will tell you yeah. in a minute. Didn't he, at, a least he didn't, at least he didn't spend a squid on it. He paid, spent a quid. I don't know what a quid is. So he also follows up with the mother one of pound, my kids. One pound. Oh, that's actually good. Mother of my kids reckons it's fake. But stitching is good, has polo on all metal parts, zip is good, and has about five tags inside bag. It's real as far as I'm concerned. Wow. Well, <laughs> what does that we, what does that remind you of? Literally before the show. Literally, like two minutes ago. So we sold these Jordan um uh, what are the uh the Jordan ones? A pair uh, of Jordan yeah. ones. And um this is the one where I pulled up the site and I'm looking at this thing and I'm just comparing like the 10 things they say to look for and i'm like this looks like spot on to me so we put it up on ebay and sold it for i think we took an offer of 70 bucks and of course it's authentication guarantee ebay provides the fedex label i think it was only going to be shipped to the local vegas thing anyway and uh, what happened honey um the buyer was refunded <laughs> And our item is probably coming back to us because <laughs> it's fake. And you know what? I'm not upset about it. I'm actually glad that this system works. They looked real as hell to me. Um, I would hate to have, you know, sold a pair of knockoffs to someone. And, you know, this was in that large lot of shoes that we uh, sold. And we just happened to, you know, open this tub up. And here's, you know, these uh, Jordan Jordan uh, ones. What are they? Ones? Jordan ones or something. They're like the North Carolina blue and white. And uh, I thought, okay, cool. I mean, it's down here a little yeah, bit. Right yeah. There. So the Nike Air Jordan one retro OG high university baby blues. And yeah, well, uh, they were a good pair of fakes because I'm, um, you know, who would have thunk? There's things that you can look for on these shoes, like the, uh, the way that the, the letter, on Jordan, the, the R and the D kind of mesh together a little bit on the bottom and how the um, the TM sign looks. And I mean, the, those are those are pretty clean looking to me. So I don't know. What was with Wait these photos? Minute. Those are not my photos. What's with these photos? Those are not my photos. We don't have laminate wood flooring. What is going on here? Is this not our listing? Oh, it's not our listing. No. Okay. I'm like, well, wait a minute. But wait, what? But wait. So I, I click on our listing. Because and... they, they said they already re they removed it. They pulled it down. Okay. I got an email. So we can't even look at the listing no. anymore. That's weird. Okay. So nonetheless, that yeah, it is strange. You look at your own listing and it shows a bunch of photos from someone else. Well, that's not good. So that's... That's really bizarre. strange. Anywho, let's go on. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, as far as authentic authenticity, it works, guys. And that's a good thing because I'd hate to go on here and, and buy something and have that happen. I, you know, we did the best that we could to try to identify it. If I would have come across anything that looked out of ordinary, I wouldn't have even bothered with it. So they're on the way back. They got their 70 bucks back and all is well with the world. So and I'm fine with that. It's good. Um, let's see. Flipping con Marco says, Hey, FAE fam. Thanks for being here. 
And Andy PTS Reno treasures says, you're skipping. Well, I'm trying to get caught up. I'll get back there. All's good in Indiana. How's that FAE family doing? Waiting for a storm is what we're doing. Yeah, we're bracing. I think we said said hi to PTS Treasures. You did? Yeah, earlier. Oh, yeah. Um, well, hi, but baby. hi anyway. If we hadn't said hi, hello to you. Um, let's see. Flipping Con Marco says, Hey John and Jenna, hope everyone had a productive week. Sales have been good. Seems like the more you list posts, the more you sell. I'm a firm believer in that. Mm -hmm. I really do. And, and if you think about it, it makes sense. The more you list, the more is that is available for your buyer to find and buy from you. Um, the less you list, the, the less you're replenishing your store. Um, think about that. You know, you put out a box of stuff at a yard sale and naturally people come and go. They're going to pick through the best things and leave the stuff that isn't so hot. And that's kind of the same thing. So you want to replenish that that box so that uh, you know you can make some sales. Flippin' Con Marco says, "I went to the bins yesterday and walked in just in time to find a half tub filled with Legos. Legos sell it very well for me. Those are very good. Um, now, if that would have been our bins, it would have been like um, <laughs> they would couple, have been all together. Would have been a couple switch blades like pulled out, and you know." Uh, it's not very, very good. Now, yeah. I know that uh, Biscuit Butt and Dixie Flipper Mike went over to the bins today. At least I believe that yeah, they did. Yeah, he said he was going over. So I'm curious if they're here with us, how they did, uh, or if they survived. So I haven't seen I haven't them yet. Seen them. Um, the the uh, discussion was that we were going to do yard sales in the morning, the three of us, and then hit lunch. But uh, last that I checked in the Vegas Valley of like 3 million people, there's only six yard sales. So I'm not sure that's going to happen, but we'll, we'll just keep an eye on it. We'll see if he messages back. Uh, we got Prosser, uh, independent trading company says evening all. Thanks for Prosser! being here. Um, Lenny K says, Jenna sounds so good on the podcast. Aw, awesome. thanks Lenny. She did a very, very good job. She did I a good job. I was so anxious. Uh, Andy says a processor in the house. Now all we need is Tommy and we can start. Oh, <laughs> processors in the house. Processor. He put processor. processor. I'm sure processor's no, a processor. He said processor. He said processor. He said a processor. Processor. Oh, he said processor. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. Daniel Lesage from Baton Rouge says, hi gang. Hope all is well and good on my three, uh, round call to eBay Monday. The Asian rep was really helpful and said she would initiate a refresh for my account. Hours later, it started working again. Mm. So that used to be a thing. And, be a and thing. it used to be something people would call eBay for a lot until they started telling people it wasn't a thing anymore. Um, I would think if they saw something wrong with the account, that uh, maybe that they would do something like that for you. Usually they'll, they'll say, let's send it to the back room and let them uh, mess with it or whatever. They'll put in a, a complaint. Um, I got to tell you, I came across a glitch and I call it a glitch now more than anything else. Um, I received a negative feedback. Well, that's not a glitch in itself. I have a couple negative feedbacks up there, but this one, it just said the word old. So I'm like, what? So I looked this up. This person bought, well, they had agreed to buy this item from me. It was a bowling bag and they agreed to buy this item for me for like $49.99 plus shipping, but they never paid. And this is back on May 17th, okay? So last night I'm looking at this and I'm like, wait, how are they able to leave me negative feedback? It's been more than 60 days and they never paid. So I had to cancel and relist re it and I sold it eventually to someone else. And so I went on to the eBay tool, the negative feedback removal tool, and just said, look, they should not have been allowed to leave a negative feedback in the first place. And it is was never sold. Now, for those of you guys who know about seller protection, the seller protection policy is very clear. If someone agrees to buy your item and they don't pay, well, part of eBay seller protection is, is that they will remove any negative feedbacks from this person if they happen to leave them. There is no correspondence between me and this person at all, not a, a message. There might've been an invoice, but that would probably be it. So all they did, eBay went in and deleted the word old and also along with it, deleted my reply. Um, so it wouldn't let me go put a new reply, just a couple dashes. So I'm like, okay, now I'm kind of irritated because this is, <laughs> I'll own my, my uh, negatives. And, and to me, look, I've always said this, negatives don't really do much at all. But 
for me, it was more about this is BS. This, this glitch shouldn't have been allowed to happen. So um, again, it's one of those, because I have a channel following up kind of thing. So I have something to talk about. And uh, they said the whole 72 hour routine and they'll get back to me. But it's like, all I'm doing is asking you to follow eBay policy. eBay policy is clear that, uh, you know, that you'll remove the negative feedback. And uh, and the, the rep agreed with me, but they eBay has tied the rep's hands so uh, firmly behind their back that anything above hello, they can't help you with. So it's a good point to really not call and try to use the self-service options whenever you can because um, it's really no no bueno. What am I doing what? Why did you do that? I didn't do anything. Yeah, you just said uh, I don't know. Wasn't trying to get your attention. <laughs> wasn't code word for anything. I thought it was. No, it wasn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kevin Hawthorne from Lakeland, Lakeland Florida. Florida says, good evening Florida. from Lakeland, Florida. Uh, Daniel also says, uh, Miss Kathy and I both have a like and got two sales to start. Yes. Uh, one extra also. So hit that like button, guys. Yay. We have this thing here. Hello to Miss Kathy, too. We have this thing here that other channels are starting to kind of like do, too. I don't know. They did but, it on the Let's yeah, Do It. It's like, yeah. I was going to say, that's our thing. But we uh, don't own it. No, we don't own it. You can use it whatever you want. It's just putting it out there. But nonetheless. I think um, we're the first that came up. With yeah. It. But, you know, hit the like button, guys. It, it'll get you a sale. And uh, that's all that matters, right? We're yes. just trying to get those sales. We like sales. Uh, Silver hair, Larry Todd says, howdy. Thanks for being here. And uh, let's see. Picky Ricky was playing with some Hot Wheel cars. Already had third of his investment back and did some unboxing videos on them. So oh, awesome. Cool. Awesome. Oh, yeah. I've seen a couple of them. Um, let's see. Jovial Juggler says, hey, gang, ha happy never give up day. That's right. That's, never give up. I like that. Um, you know, it's. We're more than halfway through 2023. And I think by now, a lot of people are like done with 2023. I'm not in that camp. Um, I've pretty much been very blessed and fortunate to have navigated through eBay to have done as well on the platform as we have. Uh, never in my wildest dreams, if you would have asked me back in January how well we would have done during the summer, I would have been like, yeah. Uh, I might be driving for Uber Eats here, you know, to be honest with you. But um, I never, I mean, it's, it's my wildest dreams have been exceeded as far as uh, the changes that we've made and, and what it's done for our business. And it can only get better. I mean, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, but we're also going to look for ways to improve as well. Right. So, I mean, we're not going to be stuck in, you know, in thinking that this place is going to be reliable forever. Of course, anything can happen at any time but however we are going to indulge in in what we're we're doing now now in january if i would have said you know what this just ain't going to work i mean we're only making like four or five thousand dollars in sales um yeah this isn't sustainable um you know we're gonna have to figure something else out i, I could have said you know what i'm done with ebay and their antics i'm just done and let's just go somewhere else but instead of that i said what can i do to make this work. So is it mean, does it mean that I just say, you know what, it's time to start selling things. I don't really want to sell so that I can make it work. Well, I guess I have nothing to lose. Why don't we try it? And that's kind of been my constant message to you guys is I don't know what it is. I don't know what your situation is. I don't know what you're able to source. I don't know what your financial situation is. I don't know how much time you have to put in the business. That's something you have to figure out. But what this message is, is that if you continue to do the same thing over and over again, that is not working, there is not going to be a magical fairy or a wizard coming by and just going with a wand and making things all right. You have to be the one to initiate the change in order for your success on the platform to change. Now, maybe you have great stuff and maybe you just don't list enough. Well, that's on you. That's a you. That's a management issue. Your own, your time management. Like I need to get more stuff up. That's a, probably a time management issue. What is preventing you from getting more things listed? Um, if it's bad buys, well, that's on you. That the person will be glad to look. They say they want ten dollars for this item, and you happily hand over ten dollars, and you don't try to say, well, would you take five? 
Well, that's on you. And you multiply that by all the stuff you're buying throughout the day. And then you wonder, well, how are these guys able to sell the same items so cheap? Well, maybe they're not paying as much as you. So there's a lot of things that, and I, I know that's a hard thing to say. A lot of people, you know, probably think I'm a jerk for saying, well, it's your fault, not eBay's, but that is the reality. And let me just tell you guys something here. I am so, so happy. So, so happy. We have a new mail carrier. Yes. And uh, this guy is very, very helpful, very, very friendly, offered us bags when he first came to the door. We're like, no, we're good with, we probably have more bags than you guys have at the post office. And that's not an exaggeration, uh, but he's very friendly and we don't have to deal with that postal carrier that we had for a year. So that in itself is a celebration. And uh, I don't have to look forward to too many trips to the post office because she doesn't show up anymore. So, um, but again, Look, this channel is about the hard truth, guys. I'm not going to get up here and sugarcoat it and say everything's going to be, be okay. Because if you continue to do the same things that you're doing with reselling, it ain't going to be okay, guys. Yes, you might get a bump because we're getting out of the summer months, right? Talk about the summer slowdown. So if you've been affected by the summer slowdown. Well, that's been going on for years. But still, you still want to make a change. If your sales weren't great in May and April... Well, you think they're going to be great doing the same thing in August and September, October. So time is right now to make the changes you need to make. I made a video um, the other day about um, asking if you're ready for Q4 and how many people can really say between what you're buying and your processes that you're, you're ready for Q4. And I think too many people wait until October and then they get in this mode where I got to buy more items. I got to get more, 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 more. And right now is the time to really be in that mode. So um, I just really care, guys. You know, I and it's even more so when I see something that's worked for me. What the hell is that? Oh, wow. <laughs> So what happens, guys, when our mail carrier gets here? <laughs> I said what is that? Oh he my says, god. I don't know. I'm just the delivery guy. <laughs> what the say it? What the <laughs> hell is this? And I'll let you look. This is the idiot that keeps sending me stuff. Screenshot it. Oh, I don't know if you can get it. Okay. And I don't care if you see the address. What the hell? He stole someone's tire. Are you serious? You know, the karma's coming. You're going to need that. And, um, wow. and you're not going to have it. You can't make this up guys. No other live stream can do. And you know what? You I know wish what? He does. He, he does this on purpose because he knows the timing when we're live. <laughs> I, I can almost. I don't think that. You. I don't think. Uh, that. I do. You think so? Two on two, out of two out of three well, packages. Or guess what? Items. Guess what? Um, there's a tracer going on the last two packages you you sent, and this is going to add to the third. So, um, it's going to come back to you there, Mister Nick. He said you got another return, Tommy. Oh, it's not a return. There's nothing. He didn't ask for this. I mean, but and I'm the, the fact that he's spending money <laughs> I'm, sending I'm, this trash. But uh, the reseller in me is kicking in. I'm I'm kind of wondering, is this something I can sell? <laughs> Does someone need a tire? It's a Goodyear brand. Wow. I sold I'm sure there's before. DNA on it. Well, not now. I'm getting the oh, money. Oh, I'm over. sure there is. Yeah, every mail carrier between here and Illinois. Okay, I don't know what to say anymore. I'm I'm really um, number one. They keep using the same label, and this is more than. Is it ended three nine? Uh, yeah, same label. So he's how copying. Can you, how can you get free postage like that? How is this not being picked up by the USPS and returned? And uh, anybody have any ideas how we can maybe put a mark on this label so the guy doesn't keep sending this item i really want to I, stop. I really don't you may need to make a call to usps i mean yeah. i don't know how that I is amazing know. i don't know i'm like what the f do you have a tire in your hand for 
Wow. That's well, a... when he, cause he had it on the, on the ground <laughs> and I'm all, what is that? And he's all, I don't know. I'm just the delivery guy. <laughs> I'm so, like, so here's the thing. You gotta be kidding. So next time we get one that comes to the door, can return you just do sender? return to sender? Absolutely. Return to sender. Because oh, I don't we, want it. He he does so, this. He he knows when we're live. I can guarantee yeah. you. We're returning times. to sender from here on out. So we're not even gonna bring it in front of the camera to I know you're getting your jollies and all that, right? You have your popcorn and your 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 underwear on and sitting on the couch and all that. It's dirty underwear. Yeah. And uh but uh, yeah, this ain't gonna be something that we're gonna be doing very often. So I apologize, guys, but <laughs> that's horrible. So uh, we got Joy Goodno says hi all. Hi Joy. And uh, hello, how are you doing? Mark Suddick says hello all. Sales for me have been very bad all week. What is going on with eBay Canada? I don't think it's just Canada. I think it's I think it's eBay. eBay everywhere. is just full of problems, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I can't really know if my my sales slowdown over the last week has anything to do with eBay. You know, we see what we see on the sales side. We don't see the glitches that happen on the, the buyer side. Uh, heard things that buyers are having problems checking out. I do know that if someone accepts an offer and you're getting a little thing saying the buyer is going to pay right away, you don't get paid for like six hours, 12 hours later. Um so I don't know what's going on on the buyer's end, but it's not good. And again, it's out of my control. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time calling eBay and asking eBay, um, well, why are my sales slow? Um, a lot of these reps, unless you're getting a rep in the U.S., a lot of these reps barely know their stage name. And, you know, when you get Bob on the phone, it's not Bob. Trust me, it's not Bob. <laughs> so beyond their stage name, they're not going to be able to give you much information other than we can have someone call you back. So don't even bother. Maya says, hi, everyone. eBay is really tripping out this week. Some days I get no sales and other days every offer I send out results in a sale. I'm ready to get off this roller coaster. Yeah, me too. But don't get off the roller coaster, though. That's the problem. You know, no, 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 no. But the roller coaster is the roller. Right. But we have no control over that. No. So when people say. I want to get off the roller coaster. That tells me they're just wanting to get off of eBay altogether. But I got to tell you, for the price we pay, even with some promoted rates, we're still at what other sites are charging us to sell our same items. But the difference is we have more traffic than Mercari. So if you think you're going to take all your stuff from eBay and just throw it on Mercari and Poshmark and, and think, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to do just as well as I did on eBay. Well, over time, I don't think, I don't see that happening. I don't yeah, see that happening. I guess happening. I'll take the roller coaster over, you know, a dead end road, right? Um, doing my things as Texas is exporting its heat everywhere. I take some rain. We're losing our heat here. Uh, according yeah. to the forecast, it's going to be kind of within the- I'm okay the, with it. Uh, 90s, high 90s, low 100s when it's not raining here the next couple weeks. So I'm happy about that. We've got what not graphics says, hi, have 260 views and 18 watchers in two weeks yet no sales. Uh, 15 pounds for some Barbie DVDs. I don't understand how it's not sold. 700 uh, plus and 100 plus feedback as a seller. eBay loves me, I guess. So here's the thing though. Okay, so you're pointing out the Barbie DVDs. You think that they should have sold by now. So what I would do is go in and type in, well, I don't know what, if there's a name to this Barbie DVD, but if you just pull up Barbie DVD and you um, look to see what the solds are, how do they look? Now I'm seeing there's Barbie DVDs that sold for $5, $2, um, $4. Um, I see a lot of 21 for $99. See another lot. Uh, there's a movie collection of about seven for 45. That's free shipping. Um, $14.99. So maybe, and I and I don't know without looking at your auction or your listing, but what are you asking? I, I think that's a lot of people, 10 Barbie C, uh, DVDs, $20 plus $10 shipping. These are all the solds that I'm seeing. Um, I think we're trying to take advantage, and it's not a bad idea to take advantage of the Barbie movie thing. Uh, to get your uh, get get your items out there and sold while it's hot, but there's so many factors involved, and I think one of those things is the price. 
So uh, how is how is your how are your items priced? So what I'm saying is look at that specific item and go in and try to find the solds for that specific item and emulate whatever that person was able to do to sell that item. Yeah. And if there's no solds, Maybe that could be part the, of, it. you know, the first five words of the, of the listing title. Yes. Um, that's very important. One thing that I've noticed when I do my research, when I'm sourcing, right, I will pull up a lot of this is Amazon liquidation stuff, right? So I'll find the listing on Amazon and I'll copy um, and I'll paste it into eBay solds. And shout out to Bearded Picker in that he told me about this thing where um, you can highlight and it's a it's a Google extension. And I don't know how to really show you how to set it up, but it's a Google extension called uh, Context Menu Search. And it, it uh, allows you to right click and set up anything that you want to copy paste into. So uh, like, for instance, I have it set up for eBay solds. And so when I write, when I click on the, uh, the words that I'm highlighting on, on Amazon, uh, then I'll go in and click on eBay solds and it automatically throw those words into the search for eBay solds. Now, what's happening is, is that when I do that and I do a longer title, it'll show me no results. And then, okay, so then I'll pare it down to like just the first or the, the 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 most common keywords. Maybe I need to put the brand in there and the first couple words of what it is, and it'll come up with results. And so this is happening when I'm doing my research, and it just makes me wonder if your buyers are experiencing that they're trying to find the same thing they found on Amazon, they're looking for a better price, and they're finding nothing. So they move on, right? Um, makes me just wonder. And that's, I think maybe, maybe if it's not word for word, maybe if you have an extra word or two, that's not in a title, it's just not even showing you any results. Hopefully they get that fixed. Uh, Raul Salis says, hello, John and Jenna. Thanks for being here, Raul. And then Sylvia Hunt says, hi, John, Jenna, gorgeous as always. Hi, Sylvia. Well, thank thank you. you. I appreciate that. I know he's a, he's a, a gorgeous. gorgeous guy. Um, <laughs> guide crew says hey guys made it my sales are absolutely in the trash mm -hmm. so you know that's that's it we have to figure it out that's why i say there's so many aspects of what we do yeah. um that we are nothing more than you know private investigators we have to figure out why why our items aren't selling we have to figure out what items are selling we have to figure out what in the heck is this that i'm looking at so i can see if it's worth selling so there's so many things you questions you have to answer in order to be successful. And if there's questions like this, that your sales are in the trash, well, that's a question that you have no answer for. So um, there's many ways to get that answer. One is the um, maybe pulling up items that you really feel should be selling, looking at the comps and seeing if they're selling and if they are, what's different about their listing than yeah. yours. Um, because, I promise you, if you have a good price, good listing, maybe it's your account health. If you have good account health and other people have been selling that item, you know, maybe they're not, you're not promoting enough. Maybe you're not promoting your item. I did the math and I think it was like 44 out of 220 something items that I sold in the last 90 days uh, only were the only organic sales. So that's like 20 something percent were organic. The other ones were because of promoted. So if I stop promoting, I'm probably only looking at 25% of my sales. So I don't know. Just There's so many intangibles that uh, go into that statement that uh, you're trying to figure out why your sales are slow. And I'm sure there's an answer that lies in there somewhere. Yeah. Katie uh, Pazdra says, I went from 100 watches down to 30 in one day. What the heck? So if we're talking about eBay, if you went down from 100 watchers on an item to 30, Think of it as a rolling calendar. So all the watchers that you got like on a certain date, let's say when you first listed this item and the item's been up for more than 30 days, well, those initial views are going to be gone. The calendar, it's a rolling calendar. So uh, let's say July 17th, you had a ton of you know traction on this listing. Well, it's over 30 days from that now. So you'll never see that. It's, um, it's, uh, and that's yeah, your, so it's normal well, but that's, to, but that's views. I'm, I'm sorry. So I'm thinking of views. You said watchers down uh, to 30 in one day. Um, that's a little different. So your watchers stay, your views do not. So 
Um, I misread that. So I don't know. Can't answer that. But I wouldn't doubt it's no different than me having a uh, person that was able to leave me negative feedback after uh, uh, you know 60 days, actually closer to 90. 90. So, you know, I, I don't doubt things like that happen on this platform. Andy Reno says, looking at a new source for liquidation pallets, Pilates Sunday. We'll see how it goes acro uh, across your fingers. Yeah. Um, I hope that works out. Just be very, be very careful. If yeah. it's manifested, that's better. If it's not, you just got to really, you know, try to look up what you can see and make sure that those items will at least cover what, you know, what you pay. So that way everything else is kind of gravy that you can't, if that makes sense. Uh, Tiff M. Law says, hi, John and Jenna. Uh, sales have been slow as molasses every day. Monday was more than my usual four sales compared to my usual zero to one sales per day. Monday was a pretty good day. Um, yeah, our Monday was good, but we've had, I mean, for summer, we're riding the same roller coaster. It's just, you know, summer getting more sales within one day and then lower numbers the next day. It's just, it, it's all over the place. It's not consistent. I'll, all. I'll extend the same thing. I, I mean, if I get a dozen people emailing me to look at their store, um, I don't mind doing it. I want to help people, you know, and it's so very, very frustrating and inside. It's frustrating to hear people that are having slow sales and I have no way to, to know. It's just a random guess, right? A wag, a wild ass guess. And I have no idea. Did you just make that up? No, it's been around. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, just, look, I, when I get a chance to look at your stores, then I can really see. But then I still don't even know how your account health is. I don't know how you uh, promote. Uh, that's just, there's so much that one can do when they're looking at a store to try to say, okay, well, you're trying to sell this thing that no one's been able to sell. And that might be what's going on here. So um flipping ain't easy 2020 at gmail.com and it may be a day or two before i get back to you is but it in the description uh yeah i'll just put it in the, the chat uh well, flipping ain't easy 2020 at gmail.com and i'll be glad to take a look and uh see what i can see i'm a pair of eyes i can give you an opinion but um for what i charge which is nothing uh it's a pretty good deal and quite frankly, I don't even look at watchers, to be honest. No. I don't, if they aren't, watchers are just watchers. They're just that. They could be another reseller that's yeah. watching your item. So they don't mean anything to me. No. They, I, I don't watch them. I don't look to see if the numbers change. They don't mean anything to me. No, they don't. You know? And and honestly, I know that the, the, the traffic reports are screwed up, but I'd rather look at the traffic reports before looking at, oh, wow, I've got, you know, this many watchers on there. Uh, you know, again, the answer is there. Uh, the answer is definitely there. And even when I have slow sales, I, I have can pretty much get an idea as to what's happening with me. Uh, Devin, said, Devin waking up says, I'm a small seller, about 150 items, and I've been getting four to five sales a week, which is good for me. All right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and if you're happy with that, just keep doing what you're doing, you know. Yeah. Uh, Josh is in the house. Josh Galt says, hi, Jenna and John. I'm listening as radio this afternoon, traveling, looking forward to a banger show. I hope it is. <laughs> um, I always hope that these hey, shows. Josh, how have you been? <laughs> she had to say that. I had to say it. I love you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, check out Josh's channel. Um, he does lives uh, every day at 10 a.m. I believe it's 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 o'clock Eastern. And He'll keep it to an hour. He'll cut the conversation dead short at one hour or yeah. around that. But I'm always uh, like, he's wait. like, I got to go. It's like he he's <laughs> like, OK, look, I have this hour and I'm going to dedicate it to YouTube and nothing else. And then after that, I don't care if which is discipline. Maybe I need to do that because I know that <laughs> I can probably do that. And I would probably leave about half of you guys hanging because the. Like right now, I'm yeah, still way you'd, behind. You probably cut. <laughs> I'm like, way behind. Yeah, so many people. But wouldn't look, I wasn't questions. expecting to get a tire today in the mail. This is ridiculous. Who mails a tire? Nick. Well, it's not funny. We're gonna do a return no, it's to not sender. Funny. We're just gonna do a return to sender every time. So that's the last you're gonna see of this guy. So a guy guru says I ended and sold similar. My entire store of 1,500 plus seems like my watchers are coming back in couple day dates. Dales sales still not great though. Um, 
that does happen. That does work. Like I do mine on Thursdays. And the reason why I do my end item sell similar on Thursdays is I'm a firm believer of giving eBay daily activity. Okay. And Thursdays happens to be the day that I go and pick up my liquidation stuff. Sometimes I make two trips. Sometimes I make three trips and it's lately in the summer has been so hot by the time I'm done, I'm wiped. Okay. And so I'll go on and I'll do end items, sell similar, and uh, for the items I haven't just recently listed. And that works for me. It, I wake up in the morning usually with, uh, with offers from, from uh, potential buyers and um, some sales. And that just is my, my formula. It works really well. Uh, let's see. Mark Sedex, has everyone hit that like button now? Yes. Thank you, Mark. Now. I appreciate it. Uh, the bubbly chick does unboxings. Hello, I'm here this time around. I haven't been watching in a while, but I'm here today. Hope you and your family are doing well. Oh, we're good. Yeah, we're doing fine. We hope Thank you're you. You're doing good. Um, we got no one design, and we have. Um, I thought you said you changed he his did. name. Okay, uh, Miller Time says, "Let's get it." That's my son. Uh, thanks for being here, dude. And then LSGS Rob says, "eBay will be on top for a long time." but they are the bottom for Amazon or a bottom for Amazon. So yeah. And I'm kind of excluding Amazon from the comp competition, the competition, the they conversation, the, competition, yeah. the conversation, because you know, how many people here really sell on Amazon and we're talking like FBA. Um, there is a, certainly you can go in and sell FBM, which is the same as selling on eBay. It's fulfilled by merchant, but I just, I don't do a whole lot of that lately. There's, it's really cutthroat on that platform. So uh, a lot of counterfeit, uh, especially if you're selling Amazon liquidation, a lot of counterfeit claims against you, that kind of thing. So it's really not worth it to me. And for that reason, I just don't bother with uh, Amazon. So uh, other sites, though, it's definitely a good idea, get, idea to get your stuff in front of other Shalami people. Shalami Sandwich. Maya Koyama says, for me, I don't want Maya. to make Maya Koyama says, for me, I don't want to make the same mistakes as last year. There was stuff I regretted not getting because I couldn't determine sell through at the beginning of the season. Um, so this is where you, you know, you, you go in and you pull up your comps, your soul comps. Yes. It's only going to give you the last 90 days when you're on your phone and um, you can't get Terra Peak on the, on the app. I get that. Now you could, if you have a browser that's opened up, like on the iPhone, I can go in and click classic site and go through all that rigmarole just to pull up Terra Peak. I ain't doing that. So, you know, for me, if the cops support that I'm going to make a sale, then within the last 90 days, then I'm going to go that route. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going, the cops are going to dictate um, what I buy and how much I buy it for. So generally I'm trying to be into the item um, so where I can make, five plus X on my money from what I, so if I buy it for five, I want to make uh 25 plus if I can, right? Uh, if it's anything less than that, I'm not really interested in wasting that five bucks. Um, so, and, and I have to be better about that because sometimes I'll make bulk buys and it turns out uh, I shouldn't have bought that. And I'm tomorrow, if we do go, it's not going to be uh, anything like that. Prosser says, Jenna, wow. What have you been doing? You look years younger. <gasps> Well, thank you. She's been going on to podcasts. Oh, stop. That's what's been doing it. <laughs> Sylvia Hunt says, I bought so much on whatnot. Then now I have to do too much inventory. I post and post, but not sell that much. Sucks. So Sylvia, curious, what kind of stuff are you selling? Yeah. Just kind of curious. Um, you know, there's a reason why a lot of folks go on to whatnot to put their stuff up. It's. To them, the juice isn't worth the squeeze to list it on eBay. Otherwise, I think in most cases, they do it themselves. Like clothing, they'll they'll pick up something for a, a buck or two, try to move it for five to 10 on whatnot, because they're only going to get 15 to 20 on eBay, if that, and they're not going to get the quick return like they get on whatnot. So um, I don't know. I, I think there's a lot of people that source on whatnot, but I don't think you're getting knockout items when, when you're uh, buying stuff on, on whatnot. So... Um, very curious as to what uh, it is. Uh, if you're willing to share, uh, very curious. Or, of course, you can email me. I'm glad to look and see what you got, you know, that kind of thing. PTS Treasure says, actually made a Mercari sale today. First in one over a month. Thought I was seeing things. And you know what? I got to tell you. Guess what, guys? Guess what? 
Guess what? Guess who? Guess who? Uh, I made a sale with. Guess where we got a sale? You dun, got dun, it dun, right. Dun, 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 Bonanza. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> so I got a sale on Bonanza, and I always just check randomly, and I'm like, oh wow, I made a. This person spent two hundred dollars, so I have this uh, dehumidifier, fifty pint de dehumidifier. That's you know, open box, it was open returned, uh, great condition, full functionality. Uh, sold it for one hundred and two dollars and eighty four cents. Now I don't know why where, where that number came from. Um, apparently, there's a ten percent booth discount. Uh, save ten percent when you spend ten dollars. So I guess. I don't remember giving that discount, but nonetheless, I'm happy with the $102 sale and they spent $101 for shipping. Now, obviously that seems like full retail to me. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, normally on eBay, I'm passing on my, my discount. With my discount on FedEx, not through eBay, but my FedEx discount, uh, I think their shipping was like 33 bucks. Yeah. So, so it is I, what it is. So we're just, you know, I, I'm almost at a point where we just take those things down off of Bonanza. No. I mean. No. That's not my message at all. Because look. Me it is. No, because look, if you're selling on eBay, if you're selling on eBay, why not? Sp it took me 10 minutes, literally, guys, 10 minutes to set up this account with Bonanza. And once I set up the account with Bonanza, um, it's. It basically does the one thing that many of you guys are afraid of or afraid of it not doing. And is once a sale is made, it immediately ends the item on eBay. Okay. So this dehumidifier yeah, is agree. in my, is in my uh, unsolds, my ended items now immediately um, they pay on PayPal. So the money is in your PayPal account. Right. And if I've sold seven or eight items this year, but to me, it's seven to eight items that I've sold more than if I didn't have it. And it does, it's no effort, really no effort. If, if all cross-posting software was set up the way Bonanza was set up to interface with eBay, wow, it'd be great. Well, you know that, so Mercari can, <clears throat> those, go, those get pulled down and Bonanza gets pulled down, but po it's Poshmark's problem. It's not. It's not Prime Lister or um, whatever the other ones are. It's not. It's not their interfaces. It is Poshmark. Poshmark is the problem. They are the ones that don't allow anything to be pulled down unless you go in and you actually physically delete it or make it not for sale. You know? Right. So, yeah. I, I mean, I guess you're right, but now, real quick. If we're not checking it on a regular basis, what are I you check it all the time. I'm trying to get into here so I can get in the screen. Oh, I'm like, sorry. I'm like, I'm falling off the screen here. Well, I've had to get up and down oh, okay. and up and so, down. So, so um, what I'm saying, guys, is if you're selling on eBay and you're not putting your stuff in front of other people, yes, the bonanza traffic is a joke. If I'm being serious with you, it is a joke. But to get the number of sales that says it left me feedback for some reason. Oh, it wants me to give feedback it to wants you to give the feedback. Uh, whatever I give him five we had stars. A wonderful so, experience. So it's like that's a hundred, that's a two hundred dollars. So there's no way I'm making two hundred dollars on that uh sale uh on eBay. No way, not for that item. So there you go. That's a thing you don't have to spend a nickel on. You don't have to sign up for any software. You just go on to Bonanza and cross post it over. And uh uh to me, if you're not doing that then it must mean you don't have time because it's well worth the free sales in my opinion. Carol C says, I'm actually home and working on eBay in my shed while you're on. Yay. Happy Friday. Awesome. Yay. Well, we're glad you're here. Yeah, Carol. Carol thanks. And then we got this guy named Shalami Shamich. <laughs> Samich. Um, uh, Shalami design. Boop your nose. Uh, yeah. Thanks for being here. <laughs> um, Kelly Deb. Deb says, hi, John, Jenna, and everyone. I don't have many sales for a couple of weeks. Then all of a sudden, the photos of my store look different and things started selling again. Now, why do they look different? Why though? do the pictures look different? Did you make them look different? That would be a good thing. Yeah. I mean, Guy, it's working. Guy Girl says, I started putting my clothing on Poshmark three days ago and I did get a sale. So look at it this way, guys. Poshmark is good. I mean, they do sell. But Bonanza ain't going to make or break your year. 
Okay. But look, you get, I get, I've got an extra seven sales. It's only linked to my, my, my main store. It's not even linked to my secondary store. We probably should be doing that. Set that can up. You set it you're going to have to make, two, no, maybe? no, you, 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 I don't think you can interact um, two accounts on eBay into one bonanza. I think you're going to have to have two different bonanzas, oh. but um, for me, seven extra sales is, is, doesn't seem like a lot, but now you you factor in how many extra sales am I going to be getting on Mercari? How many extra sales have I uh, received on Poshmark? And maybe throw in another site. That right there can up your game by about 20%, I would say, in sales. So, you know, I think a lot of people kind of scoff at it. Now, is the cost worth it? Um, I know that some of these, uh, listers, well, for instance, Bonanza doesn't cost you anything, but some of these cross listers will cost you everywhere between 30, 40 plus 50, 60 bucks. Um, is that worth it? Are you doing enough volume to make that worth the while? So I understand the concern on that. Um, so at least put, you know, get Bonanza involved and I'm not a spokesman for Bonanza by any means, but, um, why not? I mean, I can laugh at it all, all, you know, all year long, but once we get that sale once in a while, it's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Myas is another thing to look into. If you've opted out of eBay international shipping, look into pirate ship, simple export rate. I've sold to some Canadian buyers using that. Yes. Um, so don't just opt out altogether for international. Uh, I opt out uh, of the international eBay international shipping because I have my reservations on if it's slowing down sales. I'm still seeing in search results when I'm doing my research, I'm still seeing a lot of UK listings at the top mm -hmm. of my search results. That went away for a while and I'm seeing that back again. So I don't know what that is about, but I'm opted out of international shipping program. I still am not 100% confident in it. And look, my, the items in my main store are large items. So who in the world is going to, other than the U.S. is going to want to spend the kind of postage to get my large item like this 40, 50 pint dehumidifier shipped across the world rather than just buying it locally. So for me, I don't feel like I'm losing much, but because eBay's charging an arm and a leg for that international shipping program anyway to the buyer, I'd rather do something like Maya's doing. And I think they do up to 70 pounds with the um, pirate ship simple rate and yeah, it's not. It's going to be kind of expensive for larger items, but not nearly anywhere close to what eBay's charging. And uh, okay, well, so someone's complaining about something, so we'll have to talk to them afterwards. eBay. Yeah, looks like one of these cases came back broken, so we'll have Aww. to figure it out. I do the best but that I can. I, I package so them well. well. I don't. I've sold dozens of these these football cases, which are really shrinking down to next to nothing so do you put um, a fragile sticker on them yeah i do but all that does is you know someone who's demented you know will just throw it somewhere um maya says jenna i watched the podcast i enjoyed list listening to it oh thanks uh tommy says i've been doing exactly what the yard sale youtubers do and my sales are below the crapper all it says <laughs> is make me gain weight and lose money please help <laughs> Yeah. Tony, go enjoy your vacation. Are you still on vacation? Yeah, I don't I don't know. He's been commenting so, the whole So time. I guess you're not yard selling on that vacation. It's just not in the cards, I guess, huh? <laughs> uh let's see. Try to skip down a little bit here. Akina says I was just trying to see if that shalami was a troll. <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. You're lucky I called it out because they probably would have gotten rid of you. Yeah. John Doe <laughs> says, I just learned the hard way that the sale plus markdown feature always uh, allows buyers to use coupons on top of the lower prices. Yes, it does. So if you're marking something down, it's going to show that line through the regular price. In red, it's going to show the, the uh, discounted price. And then if you have a coupon, your buyer is going to be able to hit that with the coupon. So on her store, we had 20% off markdown and a 10% coupon. And it was like, wow, I need to bring that down a little bit. Um, so I think every two weeks we have it setting up a new sale. We had to back it down to 10% because this is a little, yeah, we're trying to move it, but we're try not trying to give it away either. Um, I'd rather spend a little extra on promoted to sell it at a higher price if I, you know, with a cap at 10%, of course. Uh, 
Tommy said um, he just got back from vacay today. Eddie Estrada says, I still have a job. The new supervisor that wanted to fire me resigned. Mm -hmm. Well, that is awesome. I mean, that's awesome. That's a blessing. Everything is back to normal at work, but this experience has strengthened my resolve to build a bigger, stronger store. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is really cool. I wish that happened to us. <laughs> where, where the the new just the one, manager that was there resigned. A few. Oh wow! But that's awesome. I, I love to hear that. Um, they just shut the whole freaking place down. Yeah. <laughs> Guide Guru says I had some Jordans once. Came back from authentication because no insole. It was my mistake because I didn't mention a listing. Next time it sold, went through, no problem. Mm -hmm. So it may be that we just failed to mention something. Uh, regarding the condition of the shoe after all it is a, a used shoe yeah. but i'm hopeful now i'm wondering did they send you a notice as to what the problem was did they yeah. determine it was a problem with the insole or or uh or what i'm curious if they're going to yeah, tell yeah because they didn't tell us when all they told us is sent us a copy of the policy that um says no fakes no no what it, yeah. it was just a policy it didn't say specifically now, about the cross-listing programs, uh, PTS Treasure says, be aware, flip takes forever. I miss Vendu, just not their price. So um, I do think that Vendu is one of those ones that will remove the inventory from the other sites, from what I understand. But because they know that they're one of the only ones in the market that do this, they're going to charge you an arm and a leg. And mm -hmm. you have to figure out, do I have enough inventory to make or enough sales. I mean, if we're being honest Say, about yeah. it to make it worth the, the price. And I think there's folks out there that probably can justify that uh, it's worth their while, but others who aren't making sales right now, it's like, do I want to spend an extra 50, 40, 50, 60 bucks a month when that money can be best spent on buying something to sell in the first place. So I get it. Um, even if you're look, going in and taking the 10 best items you have currently for sale and doing it manually on Mercari, right? Or Poshmark, start there, right? Um, but you, you know, you're going to get more sales. Now, one thing, one tip that I can give you, if you are planning on cross posting from eBay to let's say Mercari, I know for a fact Mercari, make sure when you're taking photos, you're using the square, format mm -hmm. do not use the default what is it six by nine or whatever do not use the default um four by three do not use the four by three because once you get the uh, photos over to mercari it's going to be blown up and it's going to be like a zoom yeah. and it's not going to show your item yeah. so make sure you're using the square format from here on out if you're cross posting i i found that out the hard way early in the, the year and oh, I sold a pair sale. of women's slip-on sock sneakers. Oh my gosh, we've had those were one of the first ones we See, listed. Those are one of the ones we should have got on your other account. I only got twelve I don't bucks know plus why shipping. You so, had it on. well, I just don't want to shrink my store that fast. So I want to. I'm just weird by that. I want to have around two hundred. That's kind of two hundred to five hundred. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, Andy says, "Everyone, I just got my cha-ching. We yeah. just got ours, even though it was not much of a sale." Uh, guide yeah, says sale. flip is kind of unoptimized, but the posh share is quite good. Now I understand flip is free. Um, F L Y P. So, so Vendu was no free. Vendu does, does cost some money. They're the ones that have some new thing out where it's like, um, taking the inventory, uh, off of all the sites, which is good. You want that, but yeah, uh, there you go. V uh, flip is free and, uh, give that a try if you want. I mean, you can use the prime lister one. Uh, link down below for a hundred free wow. listings. You can wow. try that. Uh, Sylvia Hunt. You're 45 up. minutes I'm behind, behind. There, sir. But you know what? That's how I roll. Lucky Fine says, let's go Raiders. Great. Yes. And then Shalami says, great. Now I'm stuck. What? <laughs> so, so, <laughs> stuck for 14 days. That is like hitting the like button and getting a sale. Just the opposite. I love it. Alicia Curtis is happy Friday to the king and queen of FAE and to the whole FAE fan. Aw, hi, oh, thank Alicia. You. Thank you. Appreciate thank that. You. One Foot Flipper says, afternoon, everyone. Well, well thank hello. you for being here. Awesome that you're here. Uh, Rosie says, hi, John and Jenna. Hope you are doing great. Nice to see you tonight. Uh, hi, everyone. Hope the week is treating you well. Aw, yes. hi, Rosie. Uh, Katie Pazdra says, I have about 500 items on eBay. 
It went from 100 watches down to 30 Wait in one day. What Why the heck? are you way up there? I'm still here. I'm going down. They probably posted it again oh, because maybe. they saw that I was way behind. Tommy says, Katie, I think your keyboard is broken, not eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Because she she listed that again. Yeah. Uh, Duncan says, I got too many orders to pack. Feeling a bit lazy today. It's 8.30 a.m. down under in Sydney. Maybe a good day for pizza. Yeah, there that you actually go. That sounds kind of good. Get some pizza and, and pump it yeah, out. Throw some wings in there. We got a ah. deal. Um, I got to tell you, Duncan. <laughs> yeah, we got the dogs want to go outside. Sorry about that. But to me... This is something that we've been doing lately, and that is we're getting all of our listings done the night before. So we get up in the morning. We're ready to go. We know we're going to have some residual shipping. We had a ton of shipping today. And had we not just got out there last night and did the, the shipping, uh, it would have been just a hectic day. So uh, something maybe to, to try next time when you get some more sales. Uh, we've got Tanya says, liked and waiting for that sale. Well, it'll happen. Give it 24 hours. It will happen. I'm confident. Uh, let's see here. We can get down here to some other comments. T Carol C says, Tommy, how are you driving with three wheels on your golf cart? <laughs> Tommy, did you send that to me off your golf cart? Uh, Andy says, it looks like you got a nice new tire. That's horrible. Uh, AEIOU from eBay. I have to know the story on the tire. I totally missed it. Well, we got some uh, moron that uh, bought an item from us. Um, so that they can open up a return and send back garbage. And then they use the same return label to send back um, a bunch of their meatballs. And um, that's not a joke that we actually had opened that on uh, live about a week and a half ago or something. And then we just happened to get this tire. They sent us a tire using the same return label. So at this point, we're not even going to entertain it. Uh, as soon as the, uh, you know, I, we're going to take a look at every return box that we get or any return, there's no box here, any return item we get. And if it has that person's name, the same label, we're just going to go in and uh, do a return to sender. Uh, let's see here. I know I'm way behind, so I'm sorry. Uh, Tommy says, that's probably a tire from a getaway car in the LA drive-by shooting. <laughs> SWAT is on the way. No, it's it's someone's tire from their wheel well when it's one of those emergency tires. That's what it looks like. One of those donut tires. Um, Maya says, John, did you ever get charged in your account for when they use the other labels? I haven't checked, but I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that. I'm going to spend a few moments this evening uh, trying to, to find out. And I agree, Biff, uh, isn't using a label, reusing a label of some sort mail fraud. Yeah, I think it is. So um, how do we stop it? If USPS, look, how many USPS people actually had their hands on this thing? Scanning the package along the way. Isn't this the scan going to tell them like already been scanned? Um, not a valid label. Um, wouldn't that actually be a thing? So what's, are they just letting it slide? Somebody's not doing their job. Uh, let's see. Tommy says, man, mail fraud is a federal offense. That's crazy to take that chance. I let them take that chance. That's them. Fine. Maybe they're looking for three, three meals a day. Maybe that's their meal ticket. Victor Wawiorka says, give the jerk screen name so we can all block the duche. I already put it in there. Okay. Fed time. Yes. Uh, if that guy is here in chat, dude, don't drop the soap. Well, they're not in chat. They're not, they don't know how to use their keyboard. Yeah. So, you know, they just. They've already probably copy -paste tried labels. and we blocked them. Yeah. And maybe, maybe they're not so bright. Maybe they think that um, they can use this label to to ship the item they just sold on eBay. Maybe this is meant for someone else. I don't know. Lilac Seller says, can't stick around because I'm out in the trail with the dog, but I just wanted to pop in, say how much I enjoyed Jenna and the Let's Do Lunch podcast oh, today. thanks, Meg. Awesome. And we have Al, or is that AI? I'm not sure, but sales have been <laughs> at a all-time low for me this week. I usually get five to eight sales a day. I've had nine this entire week. It's insanity. Luckily, I have Mercari and Poshmark. Yeah, but it's not going to make up for your loss in sales on eBay, yeah. but it will help at least, at least try to bridge the gap a little bit until you can figure out what's going on. Uh, flipping for change says, Hey, Hey, Shalom y'all. Jenna, you shalom. shalom. Jenna, you were fabulous on let's do lunch. Really Aww. enjoy that podcast. Those girls are a hoot. Yes, they are. Thank yes. you so much. Uh, and then no one Shalami says, uh, Jenna time to turn on your CSI Vegas and solve this crime. 
I'm I've done a lot. Uh, and yes, to answer your question, Tommy, yes, I have tracked it back to where it came from. And yeah, I've done a lot of research, but I and I've filed a lot of reports. So I don't know what to do next. Duncan says, could a drop shipper be using your address to return items? I've heard this happen to some Hence why you're getting strange items, but it's the same label. So yeah, it's the same label. Yeah. They're using this. It's the same tracking number. Yeah. So I'm going to to look into it. Uh, but of course, uh, what am I going to do? Call eBay and get some guy that's yeah. like on the front lines going, whoa, whoa, we'll call you back in 72 hours yeah. and it doesn't happen. Uh, Daniel says uh, regarding the tire. Uh, no, don't stop it. That is becoming part of the live. You could start a lottery about what's coming next and who is who of us is the closest. Yeah, I, I just at this point, I think it's just buying into what they're, you know, we're just giving them their jollies. And I'm not interested in um, entertaining someone's uh, stupidity. So uh, that will be the last one that we accept. We're not going to accept anymore with, with that uh, label on it. Uh, to Aussie Thrifters says, good morning, evening legends. Aww. Yes, good morning. Good Thanks morning. for being here. I know. It's so weird. Yeah. Work. We're, you guys are in Australia watching our crazy asses. We have Mary. Uh, hey, Mary. Been a frustrating week on Mercari. Diligently packaged two cookie jars and received messages from both customers that they've arrived broken. Uh, so I sold two of these cases, and we just got a message that they both arrived broken. Yeah. So that tells me that it didn't matter how I packaged it. Um, if you throw that box off of a 747 onto the tarmac, it's going to get smashed somewhere. So if they could show me some photos of the, the cases being broken, I'll just send them out some new ones. Otherwise, they're just going to have to open a return. Yeah. Tanya says, amen. The grass is suffering here in Houston big time. Yeah. Because the heat. Because the heat. Um, doing my things is I think that Barbie stuff is saturated right now, I think. Uh, I have a Barbie doll that's brand new that's out in the garage that I forgot to put in my FBA shipment. Oh, um, it's not going. Yeah, I don't know. It just give it uh, to the kids. no big deal. It's like fifteen dollars. Uh, MK Seven says, "Hey, hey! Hope every everyone is having a great day. Put good energy out of the universe, and good always comes back. Get ready to rake in that money. It's coming regardless of the flippity flop of eBay." <laughs> yeah, yeah. And look, this ain't the easy platform that it used to be. It used to be set it and forget it. You know that Ronco thing, right? Set it and forget it. You're going to get a sale. The items are going to usually move and you don't have to do anything. But that's a big mistake. You need to be in your account and you need to look at your older items. Investigate. Why in the heck is this thing not selling? You will be surprised if you're piggybacking off of a listing that may have sold. It could be that I found many times that items have been out of category. Like why is this? Could be a glitch. Why is this item in a, in this category? It's not even what that is. I found that too. You know, my title i've seen titles as well as i try to make good titles sometimes i'm just an autopilot and i'm like why would i put this title change the title and boom oh wow um i'm looking at this listing the photo i really wanted to use is like in the third slot why is that yeah. let me change the photos around you'll be surprised I do that all the time but if you just set it and forget it and just are you focused all you're focusing on is these new items that some you you youtuber told me that I had to get 50 items up in a day. Otherwise, I'm not a good reseller. Well, then you're just forgetting about everything else that's currently on your account. Yeah. And that's holding back your sell-through rate because it's not going to sell for whatever reason. So start focusing a little time on those things. Uh, Larry Todd says, what heat? It was only 107 here in Central Texas. Yeah. Um, it's so dark outside right now, you guys. We're have a, we have a flash flood warning. And it's currently 96. Yeah. Uh, AEIOU from eBay says, would 100% keep accepting the packages? Would report for mail fraud? Would sell the tire? I I've mean, reported it, but how am I going to know if anything gets done? Let's see here. Used tire. Let's see. I mean. It's not new by any means. Oh, no. Let's see. Used good. Uh, used good year. Um, it's a flat. It's it's donut a, tire, right? Yeah. Use Goodyear donut, donut tire. tire. Um, the solds on that thing, look, pre-owned. $134.99. Really? $146. $159. Wow. Nice. Well, thank you, idiot buyer. I appreciate that. <laughs> you know, if it's worth something, I've got boxes. Yeah, we could box this thing. Not my problem. It's heavy. 
well, if I can make $10 off of it, um, maybe make some money off it. Um, Tommy Bernard podcast. If you don't have to look at the beginning of your listings, you're missing the boat. If you don't have look at the beginning of your listings, you're missing the boat. I don't know. I think you're missing some words there. <laughs> Shalami. I would just keep accepting the packages from Nick and hope for a BMW. Next. No, I'm, I mean, send me something that's worth something. I mean, I'll anybody interested in a tire, um, Send me an email at flippinaineasy2020 at gmail.com. <laughs> Maybe you're missing a tire in the back of your car and you need something. It's looks like it's ready it's to go. It's a good tire. I, I mean, mean, there's nothing wrong with it. All the things. Really? Why that? Because um, he's just an asshole. Biff Boffo says, I think there's a a-hole in the eBay search bucket and it's not grabbing all the good relevant results. Um, I don't. Th I think there's a problem with the eBay search. Uh, there is, but it's it's not. Uh, it's basically saying, I think, if you put too many keywords and one is not in the listing, it's going to exclude that listing from showing up. So you're better off just using two or three keywords like uh, Nike polo shirt and don't put the other things like whatever the model number is. I'm just pulling it out my butt right now at this point. But you know what I'm saying? And to start small, if you're researching an item with a few keywords and you're going to get more results for whatever reason. Tommy uh, said, apparently, back in the olden days, um, everybody used to put look with those swirlies in the title. Oh, okay. And oh, don't use look, the word yeah. look. Yeah, that's just... I mean, we, why, I don't know why you would do I that. I mean, they'll never come up in a search. No. Um, Joshua says, my sales aren't good. I sent 15 offers this past week in four days. And then uh, getting newer stuff uh, on whatnot. But I'd be very careful. I mean, people are selling yeah. stuff on whatnot, but because what are the sold they can't sell it on eBay. Or they just think that the juice isn't worth the squeeze and they'd rather get the fast flip. Yeah. Uh, if I can take this item I picked up for a dollar, flip it for four or five, um, even flip it for two, well, I'm making money off of it times the 100 items that I'm selling that night and I can make a two or $300 night. That's kind of what they're doing. Um, but what are you getting for that? And you're paying shipping for that too, so... I don't know. It's to me never been a, a good place, I think, to source. Biff Boffo says one of my niche sites almost matched eBay yesterday. Tells me all I need to know. Uh, same items, way better traffic on eBay, yet David competes with Goliath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, going back real quick to Joshua um, about buying stuff on what not to resell, you probably are better off sourcing on eBay, looking for where people make mistakes, you know, um, like. You can probably pull up any kind of item and see in the sold comps that someone sold an item. I sold saw one where they had an auction that that ended free shipping, and they sold it for less than two dollars free shipping, and it was like a twenty pound item. And I'm like, wow, that person's wow. gonna lose their butt, right? Yeah. So someone had to, unless that, that that listing was canceled, the sale was canceled. Someone benefited from that. So um, that's another way you can find stuff on eBay really cheap is from people who don't know what they're selling. Uh, Thomas says, I bet 10,000 pennies that 99% of the people that have had bad sales look little to none of the sell-through rate on items before the buy-in list. Yeah. Uh, how many people out here go to yard sales and refuse to look at your phone because you're afraid that someone is going to call you out for being a reseller? So um, I wonder um, how many people just throw the, just guess. They're like, I'm going to throw my guess hat on and I don't care. Uh, well, I care because I don't want them to chase me out of the yard sale or they're going to make me pay higher. They're not going to give me a good deal. Um, you know, unless you have experience selling an item and you know it's going to sell, you should be looking up these items because you don't want to uh, get home and go, wow, I, I spent $10 for this and it's only selling for 15 to 20 on eBay. That's an L right there after fees and everything. Uh, Richard says, you killed it on the Let's Do Lunch podcast today. Oh, thanks, killed Richard. It. Thank yeah. you. And I knew she'd do better with me out of the house because she used this room. This is where I normally do my work. So that morning I went and played some golf and gave Any her the time. Any excuse to go play yeah. golf. I, did, I took one for the team there. So yeah. uh, Shalami says, every time I hear the word gorgeous, it reminds me of uh, We've Lost Gorgeous George. What movie? I don't know. That's... I think you're dating yourself at this point. <laughs> if Buffalo says, I'm not attacking anybody, but I'm saying in general, stop complaining. 
Start cross-listing no matter what you sell. There's another platform out there. Yes. Yeah. And I, and I hope that, you know, you, you're not insinuating that I'm complaining because I have zero to complain about. I mean, the, the only thing I can complain about is like that one Friday a month ago where I made no sales, but um, then I bounced back and the next day I had a thousand dollar day. I have no room to complain at all. Um, now, my in, informing you guys, look, eBay is a hot mess. Um while we're spending extra time calling eBay about this problem and that problem, and we're asking eBay, why am I not making sales? We could be better spending our time making our listings. Now, I call eBay all the time. Don't get me wrong, but it's usually for A, content. And in this case, I'm like, like really don't understand why eBay is not following their own policy. So I'm just kind of the one that'll follow up on that while I'm working. I'll have my speakerphone out and I'm working. But yeah, I um, I don't think you're attacking anyone that I see, Biff. I just um, I know that sometimes some of the stuff we talk about comes off as complaining, but my message has always been get your stuff in front of other people because uh, the sales are out there, guys. I mean, I'm making sales. You know, I thought I was having a bad week, and then boom, the sales just the, the, the switch flips. And can it be something that's behind the scenes on eBay? Yeah, it could be, but I have no control over that. Yeah. The more eyes you have on your items, the better chance you are at selling them, period. Eddie stopped selling, uh, sending offers in bulk because twice already it said message failed. And when I tried to resend the offers, it didn't let me. But that's a glitch, right? Ah, now, what in the ah, world is this? Ah, FedEx is here already. They came earlier. They had a ton of boxes. USPS is, uh, hopefully this is something not related to reselling or anything else. People don't ra rarely come to our door. Jason Byers says the view account on listings is definitely not accurate. For instance, I will list an item and it'll show five to six views. Then 12 hours later shows two views. Yeah. Um, I think there's, there's hey, a, where's your packages? Oh, stop it. Do you really sneak over here? We had, <laughs> Hey, what's up? Hey, we, have, we have Mike, uh, Dixie flipper and we have biscuit, butt. Oh, you're gonna like photo bomb. <laughs> hey guys. Hey, is it that is it that hot out there? Yeah, it's I sweat a lot. Oh, wow. Guys. We're here to spill some packages. You, did you you wore your oh, Mickey Mouse t-shirt? I did. Oh, okay. But I, I, I for me, something. a Mickey Mouse t-shirt is one where you get like all kinds of sweat on. <laughs> I found a, a hat for you at oh, Awesome, man. Thank <laughs> you. So cool. Thank you. Cool. We got a That's an angel's hat. Awesome, man. That's awesome. Thank here. you. Oh, sorry. So uh <laughs> do you have any chairs for them? We went, so, the, we went to the same. We're going to be going at this for another 20, 30 minutes, guys. So uh, get comfortable. Um, MK7 went out for a bit today. After two hours of looking around, I couldn't take it anymore. 109 in Mesquite, Texas. Wow. Wow. Uh, Gotham Fine says, hello, everyone. First time here. Interesting to see the convo. One of the fun things about our job is how this business not copy paste. We have to figure out your own individual situations. Yes, I agree with that. Now, Mike, how are your sales doing? Oh, they're they're in the tube right now. Really? Um, maybe in two or three sales a day. Um, so I don't know what eBay's doing, but I would I would surely like them to to fix the search. Did you show um, did you, did you show Archie what we got in the mail? Look, I just so um I just told oh I might eat that. Yeah. AIU from eBay says, not a stolen mail truck, but they're seeing the truck. Or is it just a guy in a postal shirt at the door that may be in a regular car? No, he's a he, – I saw the truck. Um, the truck was outside, and it's our our new regular postal carrier. So it's definitely not related to USPS. Yeah. It, I mean, no. No. Biff. <laughs> Well, Biff says, new theory, but skeptical. eBay is using some groups for beta testing, a variation of the bad server theory. Apparently, Poshmark did this a while back. No, Biff, they're using all of us for beta testing in some way or another. Um, Jovial found a uh, Jovial Juggler found a listing uh, that said test, uh, test listing. It was in her active listings. They forgot to delete it, apparently. So they're testing stuff with our uh, inventory, believe it or not. And it, yeah, it may not happen to everyone, but I think they might use Jovial for that Jovial for that test. They might right. use something yeah. that you're not even aware of on one of your listings. And um, we're beta testers, guys, bottom line. 
Uh, bearded PokeTuber says, I don't worry about watchers, only buyers. Yes. Yeah. Because the last time I checked, yeah. eBay doesn't deposit watchers into my bank account. That's it's right. only True. It's only That's the right. money that the buyers spend. Yeah. Uh, Sam says, hey, I finally caught a live. I've told you this before, but I think you're ahead of the game with good reseller info. I'm glad I found you all. Well, thank Aww, you, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Awesome of you. Thanks for being here. Eddie Estrada says, selling boots and shoes and ties have boosted my profits considerably but I get a lot more returns, unpaid items, and cancellations with shoes when compared to my clothing. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. I do see that. Yeah. Um, Masters Ma Maniac Mexico says, hey, uh, from your German in Mexico, German this in was Mexico. a crazy week. I have a client who can't pay. I have items I can send offers for, but I don't have watchers. And I have items with watchers, but can't send any offers. It's really weird huh. that you can't send offers. That's Maybe, bizarre. but But it could be also um, so many... Buyers only can receive so many offers in a day. I don't know why, yeah, but there's been many times where I go to send an offer and it says uh, something to the effect of uh, receive too many offers or something like that. Uh, Sam says, I look forward to meeting you in September at the rally. Yes, Sam. I'm looking Wait, forward who? to it. Sam? Sam. I got to remember that Sam face there. Sam, I am. Uh, let's see. You know, I was wondering if, like, who's, who's going? AIOU says, Tommy, as long as FAA is safe, it's kind of a funny prank. If it's a way, uh, way to lead to something dangerous, not so much. Well, you know what? I've lived a good life, guys. I'm um, happy to be here, and I'm not going to worry about stuff I can't control. I can't control a maniac. Um, uh, you know, I've got protection here at the house, so uh, they're welcome to to uh, f around and find out. I guess you can't control two bozos showing up either. Yeah, <laughs> I know this. I look, turn around. You guys have any return tags on you? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Sam yeah, says because the tire came with does, it, it was instead of being boxed, it's just on the tire. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. You didn't see that? There's no. two. He put it on twice. Uh Sam says, then is does anyone sell large equipment on eBay and can share thoughts? I'm thinking about government surplus auctions. Hmm. Um, um does it what about that one guy you used oh, to watch? I know, I know. No, What's I, their name? Um I don't even know. I'm, I wouldn't they're gonna know. get mad at me. Jeez. Uh, oh, flea market, oh flea market, uh, flea flip, market flippers, flea market flippers. They're yes. Awesome. Yes. They sell all kinds of large stuff So check them out on Instagram. I know that I think they also have a YouTube channel, yeah. um, but uh, they can give you inform more information about like the big stuff that you palletize. I'm not buying it. I've actually re returned a couple items I picked up that were just, just way too big, bigger than I thought they'd be. Uh, guide says, how hard is it to get on there? I started the process three years ago, but never finished. Heard it's hard to get ungated on a lot of stuff these days. Um, as far as, uh, Amazon FBM, it's not hard to get on, but it's hard to get ungated for the bigger brands. Um, and then by the time you can keep asking to be ungated, like Barbie, I'm ungated on and a few other things like that. Uh oh, no. someone's got that. I hate oh, that God. noise. Uh, that's the oh, no, eBay no. buyer sound. That's no, but it's it's just a pain <laughs> oh, in the butt. Then you got to provide invoices and stuff. And from what I understand, it's just getting uh, more difficult um, to successfully sell on uh, Amazon. Yeah. Uh, Wanda, Wanda Grizz with us says uh, when an item is placed into Amazon cart but not purchased that minute, are sellers notified asking because often the price increases. Uh, it does. I've seen it so, come back saying that the price has changed. So yeah. see, people have repricers on their stuff. So if a yeah. price goes up on Amazon, it'll move or drop the it price. It automatically for them. will yeah. go up or, or down depending on what the item's selling for. And then Tommy says, Vendu pulls down um, from Poshmark when eBay sells an item within seconds unless there's an offer. Um, I would like I that because that's where we get in the most trouble is between Poshmark, eBay, yeah. that whole thing. Yeah. So, you know, we use Prime Lister right now. Um, we are not currently under like sponsorship with them, even though we have the links down below. We do have the um, affiliate links that still work. But, uh, yeah, it might be uh, something that we're going to look into as well. Biff Boffo says, I have a cross-listed site that doesn't delist sales from eBay, but I have it admit that doing it myself brings me joy because I'm annoyed at eBay. <laughs> and, and what you can do is, look, don't put anything over from eBay until it's been on your store for 30 days. So you know there's not a big demand for it, so the chances of it selling on Mercari or Poshmark and then immediately selling on eBay is uh, slim to none. Sort of like I Archie's idea of, well, if they haven't paid for an item that they've agreed to buy after two days, I'm just going to relist it. That same mentality. 
Um, Never had an issue. Yeah. Purple Hustle You're says, welcome. thoughts on whatnot. Honestly, get annoyed seeing so many <laughs> yeah. whatnot offers uh, sellers trash on eBay. I understand eBay has its issues, but there's money in the platform and selling on whatnot. But see, I got to tell you, look, I've I've been um, platform, or what do they call it? Um, not platform, but I've been onboarded onto whatnot and gone through the whole thing. I have nothing bad to say about whatnot, but it just got me to realize that um, there's not a whole lot to make unless you're selling, like you're buying in bulk for cheap and just want to move it fast. Right. But if you're, if you're moving that stuff fast, chances are there's not a whole lot of value in it. Just be honest. Are you, I mean, maybe there's, are there a lot of whatnot, uh, sellers that sell high value vintage stuff cheap? Not really. No. Not that I've seen. I mean like vintage no. t-shirts and stuff. And I don't do see it. Some market research. I didn't find that. Um, Mr. Buys a lot says, Tommy, I'm coming back to PA next month, doing a big deal, renting the warehouse again. That's awesome. Sweet. Warehouse that kind of, that, that makes me feel like, you know, wow. You know, you can really open up and get a lot more inventory, but then the overhead just kind of scares me. Um, let's see. Uh, also saying I'm buying that big 200,000 piece vintage urban wear clothing deal. Uh, so be back up North. Oh, wow. Interesting. Cool. Uh, I'm trying to catch up. We got Yaz A says eBay said those UK sellers pay to be seen in the US, so that's why they show them. Defeats the purpose of pleasing the buyer when all they see is UK items. Yeah. But that was initially the problem with the eBay international shipping issue was that our items were being pushed down for the UK uh, listings. So the UK listings were coming up first, mm -hmm. and then our listings were showing up at the bottom. I found that just even a couple days ago when I was yeah. listing those one pair of boots. That it was all UK in the very, very top. Sarah says, I just made an account on Posh and have over 400 followers in two days. Assume they're trying to make a sale. Has anyone had luck doing live Posh shows? I might do that tomorrow. We haven't done that, right? We haven't done that. I, I don't, you know, you guys are the only ones that have been blessed with me being live. I don't particularly care to be live or have my voice being heard when I'm, doing anything yeah we have like two hundred thousand followers on yeah on, I, uh, I don't care we, i sat when we first started selling on posh when we just first started like getting on there like three years four years ago whatever it was um i was i would stay up at night and i just go through and hit follow and i just go follow because normally they follow you back right in their feed and yeah, that's what we don't have account. to do that anymore no so i had to turn mine off i just i just i just got an account like a week ago Oh, really? To watch a front list set. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. And, uh, I got inundated with just messages after messages. So yeah. I, just, I just turned it off. I, I turned so my no notifications off. So Jerry's with us, made it to the live. Apparently, there's a problem with one of her listings, and she changed the uh, listing to ship to Canada so Ooh. that she can make the sale. Uh, and then she says, John, in case you need this, I actually have a hooked on phonics master reader and story. <laughs> Strange to see a book series available, not listed yet. Oh, wow. I did pretty good today, guys. I got to tell you that. Um, and I'm actually trying to Show catch on. up. John Gaynor says, hi, Jenna and John. With more stores closing, more people will buy from the internet. Think long-term. Learning takes time and getting it right. We all learn every day, and that's what works and what does not. Yes, I yes, agree. Sure. Always you, learning. Did you see Tom with liquidation motivation? I haven't video? seen him. I haven't seen him recently, no. He's quitting the liquidation. And for... For the right reason, I mean. What did he say? Basically, they're cherry picking all the the merchandise. That's been and, going on for years. But I said that last year. He yeah. can't he can't find a, a, a steady supplier. So right, he's out. So now he owns a bowling alley. <laughs> what? That sounds like something. You gotta I watch do. this video though. He's got he's got the right mentality. Yeah. So what is it? Bowling motivation now? <laughs> no, I don't it's know. It's gonna be something like man cave, or he's changing the channel. <laughs> Oh. Uh, LSGS Rob says, what YouTuber is saying list 50 day or you're not going to get sales? Watch a bunch and haven't heard that unless I'm deaf. This is just the same. It used to happen all the time. I mean, it used to be um, one of the big ones would say, you know, you're not listing enough. Now that person changed course and they don't say that as much anymore. But it used to be like, you know, you've got to find, you've got to take every minute. And, you know, if you go to the bathroom or you, it used to be like your day was planned out and if you're not listing fast enough oh it takes you two minutes to list this item you're listing too slow you know it's that kind of mentality where 
Um, if you go back to the videos, uh, they were certainly selling the idea that you need to be listing 50 plus a day. Otherwise, uh, you're not going to be at the level you, you need to be at. Well, um, it causes a lot of pressure. I mean, yeah. we all got into this because of one simple thing. We didn't like a boss telling us what to do 24 seven day. And we wanted to make our own choices mm -hmm. by putting a, a, a limit or a, a max of how many you have to list it for me, it just causes so much stress yeah. that I'm thinking, Oh my gosh, I only got 20 in and you get 30, you know, 30 more in. And it's just like, after a while it's no, I'll, I'll do my 20. I'll fix a couple of listings and, you know, let's see where, where it lands yeah. on you. Yeah. And, and, you know, yeah, I don't think a lot of people are saying that anymore. A lot of people are changing their tune into higher ASP uh, items getting listed on your uh, store. It's more about what I've been saying for the longest time. I mean, I, I was talking about this two years ago. Stop worrying about how many items you're listing and start worrying about the value you're adding to your store. eBay shows you how much in value you have listed yeah. in your store. And um, the, the higher that number, I think the better it is. So, uh, you know, again, I'm not saying anyone's currently saying that, but I think that was ingrained in a lot of our minds over the years and watching these videos that it's, heck, I'm sitting there worried about having 200 items in my store. I'm still making great items. I mean, great sales. I shouldn't even worry about that. But in the, my mind, I'm thinking, well, I, I kind of feel like a slacker because I'm not over 200 uh, items, but yet I'm making over $500 a day in sales. So, uh, you know, what matters more? I think the sales, right? Yeah, Tammy, you are absolutely spot on. I'll get to Tammy's comment here in a minute. Um, let's see if I can get there here. Tammy, right here. Uh, I've been correcting my listings. I had no idea I had listing mistakes on high dollar listings. Yes. That wasn't the comment, but yes. Okay. But that's <laughs> Tam true. Right, Tammy. That's the right Tammy. Okay. Well, I'm catching up too. Uh, uh, John Doe says, I've done a lot of resourcing on uh, whatnot last two months. Yeah, Clothing mostly. I've learned I'm most resellers thing. here would make it on uh -huh. eBay. I'll have to do a lot of cleaning. Probably wasn't worth my time. No one. Look. It's almost as big as... Wow. <laughs> See. You can change a tire with this. We weren't, we weren't paying attention to Biscuit Butt's comments, so he had to come over and get into the shot. Um, LSGS Rob says, so how are your sales, John? Would you rather have your average monthly sales happen all on one day, or would you rather it be spread out over 30 days? Um. That's a good question. I mean, now you see my average monthly sales. I mean, if it oh, was shipping if it was fourteen thousand, I yeah, I would be like, no. I Ooh. I mean, fourteen thousand is about what I've done the last three months. Uh, I've been watching it. It hasn't gone over fourteen, but by a little bit, it hasn't really gone under it. But that would be nuts. I'd have to hire someone if I got it all in one day and not the rest. Yeah. I'm glad. It, I'm I'm happy the way it is. It's yeah. it's great. Um, it let's helps see. you to keep going. When I you guys like... came over, Guide Guru says, I thought John was getting robbed. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't oh, be yeah. John, it would have been me because I answered the Well, door. they haven't left yet. They're We're just waiting until the camera gets yeah. shut off. Yeah. Uh, Kelly says, I guess having some volume with sales might have been volume. fine. <laughs> Nothing amazing, but enough to get by. If you can't list new items, editing existing uh, does nearly the same in search results. Yes. Uh, I mean, if you have issues with your listings, if all you're doing is end item and selling similar and not changing anything on your listings, maybe your price is too high. Um, you're just, I mean, you're going to get that new item boost, but you're asking to sell the same thing. That is probably there's something wrong with. Uh, Kelly Ann says, hello, everyone. Has anyone sold on Vestiaire or Depop? It's available on List Perfectly Service. Mm -hmm. Just not sure if it's worth it. I haven't heard of it, but I've I mean, heard of Depop, but not that. One, that one. I mean, it could be like Bonanza. Yeah, it could be like Bonanza. You might get one sale every month, but I mean, it's one more sale. If you're paying for the service, you might as well. No bullshit says the guy who sent you that tire is eating his, uh, this up. Also, be careful. That could be something toxic waste inside of it or insects, bed bugs, or who knows what. Well, Ooh, the I mean, bugs that you guys are getting. Your legs. Yeah, we well, no, well, I don't. It's no, only it's not happening that. outside. Um, I the yeah, we the meatballs are. <laughs> you know, no, the, no, the meatballs the in the meatballs trash are can. In the, back, in the trash can. Yeah, as far as bugs and stuff, we actually um have have been like getting killed outside oh. the garage. I think it's because of these mowers that I'm bringing in, uh, they have like grass and stuff like that from who knows where, and that's kind of what I've been dealing with there. But it's not it's not bad for me anymore. I don't know. Well, I have two more. Well, I don't know. I not think me. the chat should help us uh, investigate this whole situation. 
because the internet can find who this is. <laughs> hey, we showed. Let's it. take it to TikTok. I, I showed we, them the label. We showed so. them the label. The label. Yeah. So. So maybe my investigator friends. Where is it? Could help me out. But you know what? The tires. Where look how much the tires worth. Let's yeah. band together. I mean, yeah. Um, I mean. Let's see. Henri Squaw says, my most interesting story from this week is a buyer accepted an offer. And when I sent payment reminder, he said he would pay when he moves to Georgia, but couldn't tell me that I would be canceled. Wow. Yeah. I had a guy that uh, said, look, man, I want to buy this weed whacker of yours. And uh, he, well, he did. And and uh, I'm not getting paid till next week. I said, I'm a, he said, I'm a veteran. You know, can you just help me out here? I said, you know, what? I'll I'll. I'll let, let it slide. I'll wait until next week to allow you to pay. You know, I kind of felt the guy communicated with me, just, you know, um, appealed to my soft side. And I said, fine. But the moment that next day comes after he said he'd pay, it's going to be canceled. Trust me on that. I think a lot of people say this too, to just keep your item off eBay because maybe they're selling it or somebody else's. But then you look at their account and you see they're not selling. I mean, well, they could have an, a, that buyer's account and yeah. a seller's account too. Uh, channel writings or Chanel writing says, cha-ching, I hit it and got a sale. Awesome. Yes, Chanel. Uh, Sylvia says, I invested 5k for my little Poshmark eBay Mercari. Now I want to sell and don't work anymore. Uh, I have must close, but, uh, have another items too. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, a lot of people want to sell clothing, but yeah. it's so it's saturated. Yeah. You gotta, <laughs> if that's not working, you gotta look for other, uh, things Sunny Las Vegas. Is he on here? Yes, he is. He said, what are we Sunny. investigating? Trail ahead. If I have an item with free shipping, do Sunny I lose out of money? If it gets right sold now. in international sale or does it not matter because I'm just sending it to probably Kentucky? You're selling, sending it to Illinois, actually. Um, but uh, you you don't uh, lose money. It's, it's the same as if you're shipping it to Chicago to someone um, that bought it from you from Chicago. You're shipping it the same way. eBay takes care, care of everything from that point. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tegan says, yeah, us Canadians decide to invade Alaska. <laughs> that would be interesting. Uh, I'm trying to catch up a little bit. We've got Sonny says, what are we investigating? Your Sonny hair. from Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find out what's in is your it, hair. Is it a weave? No, he has no, he's, beautiful he's hair. The, he's got the most beautiful locks. He oh, okay. Does. Reselling community. okay. He, yes, he does. All right. Um, <laughs> and I've seen him before, so I think I agree. So he loves reselling okay. apparel. He lets us smell it too. Really? <laughs> so That's just gross. Um, but we got Shalami. Um, no <laughs> one Shalami says, I've uh, solved the case already. The culprit is Archie to prove it. Go out and open his trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a spare time? He probably slipped I, the mailman at 20 to deliver that. And then they waited before they showed up. Uh, let's see. So that looks like he we're going to get my tire back this way. <laughs> Yeah, and then Sonny says, my hair, I wake up this way. <laughs> so we're kind of at the end of the rope, guys. Um, yeah, this tire is worth over 100 bucks. Do I resell it or do I just throw it in the trash can? I don't know. Resell it? Why Why would you do that? I don't know. I mean, it's just you know weird. What? I mean, I'm obviously going to do my due diligence and take pictures and do what I need to do. But um, come on chat. Let's get this. We need, I, I just, I don't know where to go from here. Well, I know where to go from here when this thing happens again, it's oh, called it's return, gonna, to sender. return to sender. I really yeah. think you should make a TikTok out of this because you'll be amazed. He does not Maybe we should do a, a, a giveaway drawing for this tire. No, <laughs> <I'm not laughs> do that. no. we're not going to do that. No. We're not going to do that. But uh, yeah, guys, look, we're getting closer to Q3. I think we're right there, like right now here, right? Q3? Oh. Q3 is like right now where we're at, I we're think. Nearly. We're almost there. But as we get into Q3, that merges into Q4. And if you're not getting your, your S together, okay. and that is getting your figuring the out why people. you're not making sales, stop buying here. bad. Here. Hi, I'm trying to do a conversation here. But I'm not sorry. Can I sorry. finish this up? I'm sorry. Okay. See stop buying I'm bad, guys. Stop buying stuff that is going to make you small profits. Start looking for higher ASP. And even if it's, it means you're buying fewer stuff, fewer items, mm -hmm. listing fewer items to make the same money to me is great. But to figure all this out, it's yet another sign of how flipping ain't easy. Oh. And I want you guys <laughs> to have an excellent weekend. 
uh, get some stuff bought, and uh, we will talk to you on Monday's live, same time, same channel. And, and until then, have a great rest of your day. Have a great weekend, guys. Take Bye. Care, we love you.